crossover vehicles are currently all the rage, but none of them as desirable as the new Range Rover Evoque. It really is the car of the moment. As with all crossovers, the Evoque is designed to give you the best of both worlds. For instance, its rakish bodywork is as head-turning as any sports coupe. However, the jacked-up ride height means that you don't have to stoop down to get in. Now, if I just scooch across here, you'll see there's plenty of room for adults. Got decent knee room and headroom's very good. You can actually fit three abreast here, no problem at all. And if you do buy this car, I have to say you must get the panoramic glass sunroof. It floods the interior with light and creates an airy feel that enables you to fully appreciate the contemporary design, quality feel and reassuring solidity of the Evoque's classy cabin. You can get the Evoque with some really cool options, such as this dual view screen. What it does, it allows the driver to see all his information and stuff, yet the passenger gets a completely different image from where they're sitting. So they can actually go along watching a DVD while you're happy driving and not being disturbed by anything on the screen. As for practicality, well, we need to talk about it. So yes, the glove box is pretty large. That's where I put my jumper. Uh, there's a couple of cup holders there. Decent central cubby and the Rather important, can you fit a bottle in the side door bin test? Yeah, well, you can. While most owners are unlikely to take their evokes further off-road than the overflow car park at the races, it does still have the all-terrain capability you'd expect from a Range Rover. The family resemblance also continues on-road. The Evoque is also very much like a Range Rover in terms of comfort. You can go for miles in this thing without any back problems at all. And you can fly over speed humps as if they're not there. And there's various points for you to rest your arms on so you can kind of just drive along like that one-handed. It's also supremely quiet in here. The only thing I've noticed so far is a little bit of wind whistle off the wing mirrors at high speed. And of course, you get that imperious driving position. However, unlike a normal Range Rover, which you sit on, in the Evoque, you kind of sit in it. It actually feels like a sports car, only one that's raised up on stilts. Also, unlike the normal Range Rover, you can get a two-wheel drive version of the Evoque, which will return 57 miles per gallon. But the most un-Range Rover thing about this car is how it handles. I mean, it goes around corners so much better than any other Land Rover. It really is genuine good fun on a twisty road such as this. I mean, dare I say it, it feels sporty. However, there is a slight trade-off for that firm suspension because the ride can sometimes feel it a little bit jiggly and I can feel it personally, my bamboo shaking about a bit. Another thing I want to complain about is the back window because it's so small, it's a bit like looking through a letterbox. And I'd say go for one of the manual gearboxes because this automatic can be a little bit sluggish to respond and it's like it can't quite make up its mind what gear it wants to be in. It's like, shall I be in fifth? Maybe fourth will be better. No, let's try fifth again. It's just like, come on, just decide. I'd also avoid this boring blue paint because quite frankly, it doesn't do the car's stunning design justice. And then there's the boot. It's not small, but if you have two young children and all the paraphernalia that goes with them, you'll be better off with a Volvo XC60. Really though, all this is, it's just nitpicking because this is the car that can do it all. It can go off road, it's great on road. It's got a desirable badge. It's safe, it's economical as well. I mean, the list goes on. I'm just gonna sum it up by saying, Brilliant.